Hey guys, this is Willard Franklin with the 4W Fishing Team. It's time to put our Hobie Adventure 16, the 4W Fishing Team kayak back to work. But we had it sitting on its side for a couple of years and it formed a crack. Never let it sit on its side. Stand it up <clears throat> or turn it upside down. But check out our slick video. Hey guys, we need to fix a crack in our Hobie. It's about eight years old. It's a great running boat. It'll go four or five miles an hour. It's a pretty slick. It's a Hobie Adventure 16. But we had it laying on the side. Don't do that. Turn it upside down. Stand it straight up. But anyway, have it have it on this hook uh, in the winter time, summertime. It put a put a crease in it. So what we're going to do to to fix that? We're going to drill a hole just like you would just like you would in your your windshield to keep it the crack from spreading. We got that from Austin Canoe and Kayak. And uh, so that's what they told us to do. We cleaned it up, sanded it down a little bit. We'll sand it a little bit more. And uh, stay tuned for the finished product. We're going to fix the well. And we're going to put it back to work. We're going to put our 4W logos on it. And that's our signature 4W Fishing Team Hobie Kayak. We're going to sand it down, a little wet sand it from our car days. And uh, make sure we've got a nice, clean area so we don't have any dirt or anything on the surface and then rough it up a little bit from when we stick it blew it back or heat gun it back together it'll it'll stay This, this kayak has uh, been around for a while, but never let it sit on the side. We got our, our heat gun here, you know, so once we get it set, we'll heat, heat up the plastic with a polymer, and it's gonna seal it back up, and we can actually get to the back side of it too, either direction. So we'll make it nice and neat. <clears throat> But we're gonna take and put our Hobie back to work, guys. Stay tuned. Then once we get it all cleaned up, well, I don't wanna get any floor wraps on my, my drapery. So we clean up the surface really good. We'll dry it off. go don't mess up our little gold we're gonna just add a little v in the crevice so that way we get a little more polymer so it's just not that little crack in there so we're digging it out a little bit just a little bit at a time don't get crazy and uh, so that way when I fill it back in it'll have resin that can be able to go all the way through and then I can get to the back side I just want to make sure we do a lot of stuff with this kayak so we just want to make sure we got it under control I think that ought to, ought to get it. We just use our sharp chisel, you know, just to get us our V-notch set up in there. That's what it says on the instructions. All right, then we stay tuned for our welding. We just getting a good sanding, so it weigh it up. Have a good seal. We got to make sure it's dry thoroughly. But we put a little groove in it. That way we don't have any issues and we just wipe it down. All right, guys, we welded it up. I guarantee you this spot's going to be stronger than the other spots.
and then smooth it out. Sure, we don't have any air bubbles. Let's kind of fan it out some. Let's we'll sand it down a little bit to get it smoother. All right, guys, there we go. One seal Hobie kayak. Thanks for watching the 4W Fishing Team kayak repair video. Like, share, and follow if you want to see more great outdoor content. The 4 has their foot on the gas.